Let's start the water board meeting for December 7th, 2002. I need a motion to accept the minutes of the last meeting. I'll make it. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 A motion to pay bills? I'll make it. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Now, I just got the report, um, the engineering report on the tank. Just getting the, um, you had the same report I do, this one here. Email we got this afternoon. Right. That's the design proposal. Okay. Is this for one tank, right? This is just for? Just for the windless tank. It's the design end of it, which is the construction bidding documents, the seeker, which is going to require a, um, a viewshed analysis and probably at least one meeting in front of the planning board, um, just so that we don't have anybody challenge the seeker. And of course, then the bidding phase, and then there's a separate section for construction, for construction inspection and following the tank. Okay, a lot of this information never got um, through the channels, because Matt was handling, handling a lot of it. Um, how much taller is the new tank going to be? The tank is going to be about about 40 foot taller, 40. so that we get about 20 extra PSI. It's a little more than 40 feet. And how many more, how many gallons does this one hold as opposed to the one that's there? We had proposed it to be a 1 million gallon tank. With the with the thought that we would replace Delavern with a one MGD tank in the future, so that you'd have a total of two million gallons. What is windless currently? One point four, right? One and a half. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're going from one and a half to just a million gallons. One point four to one. Yes. It's going to be taller, but thin. Taller, but thin. Um, it's going to be elevated. It's going to be not thinner, not, it'll be taller, but it's not necessarily thinner. It's elevated. So being at the tops of all the tanks have to be the same elevation. That means we'd have to be Delavern concurrently, right? We, yes, as we talked about right now, Delavern, if when we do this until we get Delavern replaced, Delavern is only going to be used for holding storage for fire flow. Until we get Delavern replaced, Windless will control the system. Right, because otherwise Delavern would overflow. That makes sense. Right, so the altitude valve will hold Delavern, and we'll. I think we've already got a proposal in for mixing on Delavern if it isn't already there. I think I've seen something on mixing for one of the tanks. There's a, there's a solar V in the tank currently. Right. Right. So until we get so, Delavern replaced, it's really just going to be for fire flow. You'll have the storage there for fire flow. What was the estimated cost of the new windless tank? I never got that either. The windless tank, um, that was, I believe, 184000 give or take, for the actual material. Okay. What does the, what, what does the new windless tank cost? Did you ever that, that, was the, that was the estimated cost of the tank. 184 Yeah. Installed. Yeah. For the whole project, John, or just the difference between the the painting and upgrade? Well, the the that was the whole project. For the new tank, the new tank with foundation was around one eighty four, is what we were getting for estimates. Really, that's a lot less than I thought. That's, that's something, something, something. something. Yeah, I got estimates from four different <laughs> tank companies, and that was the the lowest tank price of all of them. Something doesn't sound, something sounds. I thought it was in the millions. Oh, I'm, did I say, I said, yeah, one, one million eight hundred and forty thousand. It's just under, yeah, no, I'm sorry. One eighty four, wait, one eight, one eight forty. It's okay. a Monday, guys, and it's a long, <laughs> it's a long day. Yes. So one point eight four million. And then because of doing this, we'll have to do Delavern too. Eventually, yes, we'll have to get to Delavern when I can get another developer to give us another half a million dollars. 
or we can come up with funding on it. That was put in to, to EFC for funding um, and to USDA for funding as well. Telephone? Yes, I put in for both tanks. So we're chasing Fundy for the second tank. It's just more than I thought, that's all, a lot more. What, what's the, um, is this the tank uh, estimate? The, the tank estimate itself was 1.84 million, I believe. I, let me bring that up. I'll get the exact number if you want to continue talking while I look. Yeah, so Matt, we're probably going to be over 3 million to two tanks, well over 3 million. For, for two tanks, yes. But we have money for the one tank. And, and when you take the money from the developer and you take the money that you would have had to put into Windlass to paint it, you're at 1.3 million. Well, no, wait, you're, you're at 1.8 million total. Right. And then you take off 375. Right. And then well, you take... One million for what we would have had to pay to replace to do the repairs to the tank, right? Right. So we're left with five hundred thousand dollars out. I think that's what we discussed, Pat, at the last yeah. meeting, two meetings ago. I know it came to about like I said about a half. I didn't remember. I don't remember the numbers of the tank. I knew everything else. Um, I'm just scared of the, the other tank. I never clicked in my mind we're gonna have to almost double the cost. Which I understand you gotta raise the elevation. I remember the first chart. We don't but I don't understand what you you mean, the Delavern tank? Yeah, in order to get the elevations the same around the village and the pressures the same, they have to be the same elevation. Otherwise we don't have a we don't have that type of system anymore. Yeah, but we discussed in the last did, John, didn't we discuss that in the last meeting? Two yes. meetings ago? Yes. Okay. We've been discussing this all along, is that I can only get money for one tank. I can't do both tanks at the same time. So what we were proposing is we're going to replace Windless because it needs replaced anyway. And then we're still chasing money for Delavern, But in the meantime, Windless will take control of the system. John, what kind of um, how how quickly critical is it that Delvern gets changed? I mean, do we have a, a clock that's ticking? No, we don't necessarily have a clock. I mean, right now we're running the tanks. You're going to have a little less storage in the overall system, but you have a little too much water to begin with. So we are. Delavern becomes a storage tank just for fire, like when, when the, the fire down on uh, Market Street, both mm -hmm. tanks started coming down. So you'll have the fire storage, but you won't be using it for the primary, the pressure in the system will be driven by windless. So windless right. will control the system. Delavern okay. will just be a storage tank until we can get it elevated. Any regulatory or operational issues with functioning like that? Well, it's not the greatest position to be in, but I can't get you two tanks right off the bat. So we're going to do one tank and then follow it. Regulatory wise, you have the two tanks for total storage. Um, and then you also will have the, the two interconnects. So you have more water than you know what to do with if you need it. So it's not like you're not going to have water. It's more of a, like, you know, like I said, Windless needs replaced anyway, and I we need to provide water. Um, Why do you say windless has to be replaced? I'm not getting. Well, that. it needs to be. It needs a million dollars in repair. It needs a million in repair right now. It's, it's exterior work. Well, yeah. I'm sure the interior needs painted as well. Have you had a probe inside to to a drone yeah. inside the do the yeah. inside? 2018. If you read the report in 2018. It was all exterior work. Nancy was supposed to look at all that. Okay, but you still have a million in work. Well, right. I don't know that it's a million. If they're painting the whole tank and only the bottom third needs to get painted, why do we have to paint the whole thing? Paint the bottom third. 
you know, fix the uh, mortar on the bottom of the tank that where the tank reaches the concrete. You know, uh, do those kind of repairs. I mean, you know, if if it's a pressure issue on the highest elevation, worst comes to worst, tell them to put a, a pump station in just on Nelson Avenue, going up to towards those higher elevations for much less than you know the two million dollars. Well, I think the idea here was that even if it's not a million dollars um right now the windless tank will need a significant amount of work because it's reaching the end of its of its life uh and it's re reaching the end of its time um in that uh and that it is going to need work done on the inside if it doesn't now it, it will be in years to come and not so to come. and so the idea here was to get a new tank instead of um, doing that that work so that you have like double the life. And if we're not increasing the pressure in the system and making them in a pump state, put a pump station in, we don't get the 375 guys. Right. We lose it. Then that's easy. They don't get the water. I mean, don't give it to them. If, if you're saying in this thing, we're not meeting minimum pressures, why are you even considering somebody this large project going in if you don't meet minimum pressures it's it doesn't make any sense and the well, that was the players have to spend four million dollars on two tanks to get 375 in exchange i'm not getting that balance guys Can yes that meant to, this wasn't meant to be uh this was meant to be something advantageous for the village in a way of trading up our infrastructure for something better than what we have and not painting a third of a tank and saying that we can limp along and not have more, um, not have better infrastructure and that we'll just paint it in thirds and not worry about the inside of the tank. So the, the, the thought here was to upgrade our infrastructure with a development that would pay for 30 years of the payment to get brand new infrastructure where we have a tank now that is how old kenny i don't even know to be perfectly honest with you i'm not even really sure i mean we can find it but so, so the idea was to upgrade the infrastructure and to replace something that is older than you even have memory of with something brand new. I'm, I'm only basing it on a report. If you wait until 2021, when we need to do the inspection on the interior of the tank again, that's also going to give you a good idea as to its condition on the interior of the yep. tank. But so, so, so I mean, part that, where's this $4 million coming from? I'm not getting that. Where's the what kind of I don't know what the exchange is. I can't hear you. What did you say? Where's the what coming from? So we're, we're just trying to figure out the money part. I knew the, um, the, some of the numbers. Yeah, so the way I explained it two meetings ago was that if you take the base rate only, Right. For the new development with 170 plus units. Is that how many it was now? 170. Okay. Yep. If you take that number of the base rate only, and th that number will pay for the, uh, the cost of this work to be done over 30 years. So you're saying the additional customer base? Yes. So there's two good things, I think, but you, you know, you, th that's why it's in front of you for you to look at it. But there's two good things, I think, about taking on additional customers. One, you get the additional base rate, which would pay for brand new infrastructure in the village. You get $375,000 to go with that. And you get the variable rate added into the water fees forever to pay for the rest of the village's infrastructure and the rest of the operations of the, the water plant. 
and you get 100% of the sewer money into the um, village's coffers. And so for this reason, I thought it was worth looking at. I think it's a, a cash positive thing to do. And it's also good for the um, residents. But the, the, that's why it's in front of you. But that's not any different from the last two, from two meetings ago when we discussed it. That's exactly the way we talked about it two meetings ago. We I talked about the dollars and cents of it. We also talked about the inequality in, in height yeah. between two tanks. And we talked about uh, the pressure needed at, at that uh, location. So none of those are new things. The total cost, I don't remember. The pressure differentials, I remember all that. And there's also an increased fire flow for everyone in the village. Yeah, I thought that was one of our biggest reasons was lack of fire flow. I thought I remember right. Well, with lack of fire flow, specifically up on the hill, they're not even meeting minimal pressures of 35 PSI. So if you existing have customers. lack of fire flow before, how are you increasing the amount of people that you have and now it's better? It, 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 guys, it's not, it's not adding up. It's not adding up. It's not working. We need a filter. We got guys. Listen, you can you can put all the infrastructure in that you want. If the w water quality that you're putting in it is not good, it does doesn't do anybody any good. You've got to get a filter. I keep saying the same thing at every meeting, over and over and over again. We got to have a filter. And then at least you can get well three back on again. Okay, but that doesn't have anything to do with fire pressure, right? No. No, but like I said, why don't you take instead of making two million dollars, if you really want the project, put a pump station up on Nelson Avenue. Then we don't get the three seventy five. We don't need the three seventy five. I mean, it's tell them to put the station in. Just just tell them either you got to do okay. this. We can't give you the water. I mean, you know, I, I talked to other municipalities, especially George Walters, our leak detection guy, and he tells me other municipalities, this is, if you want this water, this is what you have to do for us. And if they can't supply it, you don't give it to them. Yeah, th but it's still a negotiation in other municipalities. I, I don't know of any, you know, how many different ways you want me to tell you guys. I, I just, I've been sitting here. So I don't disagree with you, Ken. I'm saying the same thing over and over again, and no one is listening. I don't get it. We are well, chasing, that's, we that's are chasing you funding for the filter plant. You guys have to, um, you guys are here to make that choice. If you want this guy to go away, you can send him away today. I'm sorry. I, I would like a clarification if I can take a couple minutes for this. Sure. The part yeah. that I did miss, obviously, two meetings ago, is I understand there's a change in there's a the elevation difference. I don't think I understood that at some point that meant or realized that the Delevern tank was not then going to be able to function in the same way. So I guess the question in my mind is: Are we talking about an expense of 1840 add three more zeros for which is offset by what we would have need, needed to trace for paint. And then the, in, the influx from the developer and then the Delta, or are we talking two times 1.840 because eventually we need to do the Delevern tank and is the Delevern tank aging out differently quickly what you know that that's the part i'm trying to understand what kind of financing time frame are we talking about for the second tank i think it would be 30 years another 30 the, before we'd have to do delavern oh no 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 for oh. the second you have to know. do it sooner than that probably yeah you're going to want to do it sooner than that. You want to do it sooner, but we'll chase. We'll continue chasing Fundy for Delavern to minimize the impact of the village. We've already put in for EFC funding. We've put in for USDA funding for it. We're we're pushing. We're looking for money for it. 
but, but operationally we can go if we don't get funding for five years that's not going to be an issue we can function with the brand yes. new tank and that being fire flow be no yes okay no. brand new tank you'll you'll that's have the two interconnects that'll function at the same pressure as windless <laughs> you'll have John, would there be an issue with the quality of the Delavern tank because at that point it wouldn't be turned over? Well, we would have to. That's why we want the mixer on there. But again, yeah, they're, they're, you're going to probably want to. You're probably going to want to get somehow to get it to turn over. Would that end up being stagnant unless we actually dumped water out? Um, we it will get stagnant if you don't change the water. Yes. So you I mean, you can add chlorine to it and you can keep it stirring, but you should, you should try, we should figure out a way to, to occasionally push the water into the system from it. But theoretically that, that, that altitude valve at that point would just stay shut. And there'd be no yes. Right. Now the an alternative is that I could make windless bigger and we could decommission De Laverne as well. What would that do with the hydraulics? Windless would control the entire village. Understood, but what would it do about the, the, the lack of storage on that end of the village? Would it, would well, you, you're right now you are pursuing the interconnect with Poughkeepsie. Should that that one single pipe going across the bridge go out, you still have water on that side of the village yeah, until you until you get that repaired. Um, as far as hydraulics, windless can supply the entire from any any one of the tanks can supply any one of uh, anywhere in the village. So. Either of the tanks can do it, and he'll it if it was functioning. I disagree with that without question. If you take windless tank out of the system, Delaburn is not feeding Route 9. Ask Ernie Martin, Jay's old partner, when his wife was getting her hair done. We took windless tank out of commission. I got to yell what happened? Her hair burned. Her, her hair burned. got burnt because because uh, they ran out of water at the hairdresser. Well, I'm not. I'm not talking about taking windless out of commission. In fact, I'm not taking windless down until the new tank is up. No, but you said either tank will supply the village, and I'm saying that I disagree with you. If you take windless out of the picture and want to float off of Della Burn, it's not going to meet pressures on Route Nine or volumes on Route Nine. What about the other way, Kenny? If if Delavern's taken out of commission, can Wenless manage if it was bigger? I, I guess that would be more of an engineering thing um, for that determination. Well, you know? I would. My model says it works, so. Yeah, I mean that's that's fine. That's fine. John, were you aware that a couple of years ago we had a a uh, glitch in our daily operations that resulted in there being an increase in pressure in the first ward and that it had very negative results. I don't have a, a, I don't have a, 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 a quantified uh, number on what the pressure increased to, but it caused a very um, negative impact to the old infrastructure in the first ward. And we ended up, the village ended up fixing six or eight uh, curve valves that blew out, and there were private companies that did another six or eight that blew out. So was there was there thought given on what kind of pressure increase are you talking about? We're not exactly sure what that is. So that's my question: is is did so you get any we're, we're, to increasing? If you increase the, the pressure in the first ward by twenty or twenty five pounds, did you give well, any? I, we had talked about Kenny and I had talked about this. We can do it two ways. We can put a a one vault or several vaults in with pressure reducing valves my preference would be to give each of the water services put a pressure reducing valve in post um, meter, post meter so water. that in the house is they're fine but as far as the pipes we're talking 20 psi here on a well, system that's, that's running at 40 so we're talking 70 psi we're not talking 100 we're talking 70 for the bulk of the system in the lower section it, where it gets down by the bleachery and the pressures are climbing at 100 that's i mean right now they're holding at 80. what would your pressure be at at well number one my shop has 100 pounds on it now so go up to 120. 
Yeah, you would need a you would need a PRV valve in that shop. You were going to have to. What about the plates in the street? It does that protects the inside. But when we had this issue in the first floor, they didn't blow up on the inside. They blew up at the curb valve. Well, the pipes are supposed to handle 300 psi. Now, granted, the old pipes aren't, but no, they're not. Those old pipes, and they are 1915. They're not rated at 300 pounds. Those wall valves. They're rated at 75 pounds, right, Ken? Yes. So they're not rated at 300 pounds. That's a new style ball valve that's rated at 300 pounds, not the ones that are in the ground. And we we physically had issues, John. So my my question is, was any thought given to what what we would do if what if we have those issues again? What if the 20 pounds is enough? That system has been operating for 100 years at a certain pressure. And there's plenty of old infrastructure in the first ward. If you were to go from 40 pounds to 60 pounds, that's a 50% increase in the pressure. What do we do if we start having, right now, these guys are chasing a small leak in the village, a small leak. And the plant hasn't shut off in eight days, eight days. We're right now, last month, we were at 480,000 gallons. This month, we're at 568,000 gallons. So today, so, so one leak is enough, is enough to put us on edge here. So yeah. you can understand why we're a little concerned about increasing the, uh, the, the users without, it would go a long ways if we knew that the filtration was gonna be done ahead of time because that would be the extra water that's usable. Right. But adding I, I, things up, John, operationally, they, you can, I'm sure you can see where they'd be at least a concern for, for us. Right. I do understand that. I mean, I like I said, we were talking about pressures in the village, and we have an area of the village that's not even meeting minimum, and then you have an area of the village that's beyond the maximum. Did you have, what is you've got the first floor? What about like Brown Avenue, which is where they blew off last time, which is the in the first ward, but way down low, so it's probably uh, 30 feet higher than, than what we have on Main Street. I um, didn't catch most of that. Pete was just saying, you know, what would the effect be on Brown Avenue at the lower elevation in the first ward? What is Brown Avenue? It add 20 pounds to what it is now. So it's 75 now. So you'll be at around 90. Yeah, and again, you have hundred-year-old pipes that blew out of the water last time we had this issue. There's some old mains and old surfaces down there, John, and I'd be concerned about that. Same thing going down the hill where you go from West Main Street to Gibbons. Where would there be a PRV pit there? Well, I mean, that's that's if you guys don't want to do the twenty pounds, we then it is what it is. I mean. Give the developer the money back. I mean, we we've been trying to replace pipe and improve infrastructure. We've we've gone after a lot of money to do what we could, and there's yeah. plenty more to do. We continue chasing money to repair infrastructure. Yes. I mean, I have a developer right now that's willing to give us three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars if we will put a new tank in and give him water. What's our time frame for response? They need to know. Yeah, right. we was two meetings ago. Okay. Right. When we had almost identically the same conversation, and Mary, you were new to that, so right. my, but this was identical to the conversation we had two meetings ago. I think I don't think I think you I I would suggest that you take a look at all the infrastructure that needs to be done, and if you want to tell this guy to go away and that you don't want extra money, you should write down all the infrastructure that you want to replace and do it in the order that you want and figure out how you're going to pay for it all. And it's more, I don't think it's just this. I don't think it's this and not filtration, this and not Route 9, this and not um, Brown, uh, Givens, the loop that goes down Givens from behind the bleachery. I think it's all of it, and you have to figure out how to get it all in place. And that's what the water board needs to do. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's one or the other. Has that's the what we've been doing so many, that's why we've done $15 million worth of infrastructure work over the last 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Do we? Does the water board have a formal capital replacement plan or or an asset? Okay, so 
Is there time, are there timeframes built into it of at what point we would be assessing and evaluating replacement of any particular item? Okay. We, yeah, our plan talks about going forward. It doesn't do what you suggested, which is was is really good, which is to make it a living document where it right. looks at, you know, after this and putting away money ahead of time. Rolling. So we don't a rolling yeah. schedule. Yeah. But um I, I guess the one thing I I'm which may not have to be, as you said, one or the other, but I'm I'm very curious about John's statement of enlarging it, to address this issue for with that would include the developer's money and other things that um do we have what is our choice between doing the current plan for the Wendless tank and managing Delavern at whatever point in time we'd have to, which would be another, not even 1.8 at that point, because five, however many years down the road, it's going to be more than that, is enlarging the Wendless tank, a better salute, a, be a better path for this. Because then if we decommission Delavern, we don't have the expense of ever replacing it or supporting it or maintaining it along the way. I, I'm just concerned that it is a significant amount of money that before we lock into a part, if we have a couple of options for a plan, that we make the one that's going to put us on the best financial and operational footing moving forward. Well, isn't it? So from my point of view, and John didn't specifically answer this, and I haven't specifically asked him, but from my point of view, it's better to use Delavern partially than to have it sit there completely unused and um because it's a pretty good tank you know it's not uh, you know so from my point of view that's what i thought i don't know if john could speak to that but i think it's not worth completely decommissioning i think it's worth keeping and using because it's still um yeah, I think it would get more damage not used than it would being partially used. I agree that that's a good a good newer tank and and is useful, but I think that if you raise the pressures, it renders it to a point where it wouldn't be in use. It would just be sitting there. That's what I mean. It, the, the altitude valve would never open, and they would never that tank would never operate. The water would just sit in it, and it would be completely stagnant. You could put a booster pump on it to draw water down, to push it into back into the system. You could use it to fill will, windless, basically. With the SCADA control, you could actually have have the plant default to emptying Delavern or taking the top ten feet off Delavern, filling windless first. If, if Easily that, done. If that's what we would need to do, John, how does that affect the 1.840 number? Um, well, you're talking about a booster. You're probably talking another thirty, forty thousand dollars for a little booster okay. plant up there. It would be sufficient for that. Right, but that would give you windless. Would then can be filled from Delavern first before the plant comes on, and then Delavern would call the plant. What's the cost difference between a new tank at windless and a filtration system at this plant? A filtration system um, was in the, I believe, in the ten to fifteen million dollar range for a filtration system. It was no. significant, wasn't it? I mean, because you need a building to put it in. No, it wasn't that much. I don't it? recall the number off the top of my head, guys. So. Yeah, what, the, I'm, what I'm getting here is if we put the filtration system at the plant here, hook up right. number three to that, we're going to have more water. You right? have the volume. Yes. You have the volume. Yes. That's right. So then, we have, then, you, then you can have water go up to the Nelson Avenue complex with the pump system, correct? No. No? Not unless you do stuff to run this. So if you're elevating the storage tanks, John, yes, what are we going to be able to pump the water from the existing 
well pump motors to fill the tank. It appears that we can do that. I checked the heads on that. There's plenty ahead to do that. You mean you're, it's going to go a little slower. I mean, you're going to lose a few gallons per minute, but you can do it from the existing. I, that was with the with the motors that are there. You can fill the extra twenty, the extra forty feet. So I don't need to replace because I'm going to need to replace those motors when I do the water filter plant anyway. So I don't want to do it. Tw I don't want to replace them twice. So I did check that number. Just remember, well three is only ten horse. Right, but it's a double stage. Are, are these filters the same as Kevin and Pat? Are these filters the same as the green sand filters we were talking about at our meeting a couple of weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. Yep. My my notes say that the information we talked about at that time is we were looking at a cost of about one point two to one point eight million for those. Is that what it is? Okay. Yes. So what's the, the, the current status on it? Uh, so it's the same. So when we'll do that first, yes. Yes. Filter cost estimate. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's the same. Why don't we do that first? Yes. Yeah. Think about the tank after we see where the filter works. That's the thing. Yeah. just got to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Phoenix it's tank. We're going to get a little more water. Dun, dun, see dun. Where I understand that. I told her, we don't want to raise the tank. We should be in there. You're too. We're going to go back. You're going to have to get a place to pick her. Like, the only one who gains there is your uncle. <laughs> and he's going to retire, so. <laughs> you never know. So. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. We'll see. We'll you see. love it here. You can find it, right? Um, There'll be plenty of very passionate. Passionate. <laughs> You are. You are. Do you want to go part-time? No. Yeah. That's what I want to do, too. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Can you repeat that again, please? 14 million 827. This is what we put into the USDA. Okay. Fourteen million eight hundred and twenty-seven thousand five hundred and seventy-one dollars. But John, that includes that includes some other things. We did have a filter plan for a much much lower amount of money. Yeah. Um, well, this is what we put into the. the yeah, USDA. I think we we made a gigantic request because there's a lot of money in USDA, and. Okay. and we also know, yeah, you, and you should also know that it's there's some negotiating to do down the line. Yeah, but I, I, I think there's a much lower number. Does anybody remember the lower number? Because I thought we were looking for 1.5 million. The number we talked about at the meeting at Village Hall, Matt, was 1.2 to 1.8 million for the green sand filters. Okay. Yeah, I think that I, John, I, I can't remember why we. Um, I don't know where 14 million came from. I'm just reading the report that was submitted. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, we threw every we threw every need that we okay. have All right. in there. And did we do something with? Uh, we need to look at that critically. That that's not the number. Okay. If we don't get that much money, we won't spend that much money. But we do need. You know, I think North Mazir is in there, right? I believe so. I think a lot of things are in yeah. there now that I'm looking at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot in there, yes. So what our, our main concern is, John, that um, we understand this part's for pressure, but we're worried about volume, too. And that's why we're worried about the grand sand filters first. That's the main thing. And the other question is... If we do raise the tank all the way, if we can operate at 10 psi or 15, is that is how much can we control? How much we raise? Well, you can set even if you were to say you raised, we build the tank for ultimately 20 or 25 more psi. You don't have to fill the tank. The windlass doesn't right. have to run it. Right at the at the you can set the altitude valve lower if you only want to bring it up 10 psi and see what it does, and then do. If, you know, bring it up a little at a time, you can do that as well. The idea is that we get a new tank. So, but we need to give them pressure up there and, you know, the, the developer needs to have, you know, his bang for the buck. He's giving it 375 based on him giving enough pressure and getting water from the village where he doesn't have to build a booster pump system. So I I always look at worst case scenario, Which is and, the, and the scenario that you have now is you have one well. We have a leak currently right now, and if you have a fire condition, you're never going to be able to supply them with the appropriate amount of water or the rest of the village in an emergency condition. So we have two out of those three scenarios going on right now as we speak. Right, and remember, we're, the, we're timing this. I'm sorry, Matt. Come on. What? How many gallons is the leak? Again, last month we were at 480 thousand gallons average for the month, and as of today, a quarter way through the month, we're at 568 thousand gallons. And it's not shutting off. Right? It's not shutting off. We go down during the day. <clears throat> and a little bit of a rebound at night, so it's 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 not a not a good situation. We're we're attempting to find it at this time. Um, I put George, our leak detector, on notice, but he's extremely busy, and will make me aware when he could possibly. Uh, come into the system and, and help us out a little bit or if we can find it ahead of time, great, or if for some reason something changes, we'll just keep them on notice. So so that's 18%. Is, has it been fluctuating or has it been pretty consistent? Steady for the last eight days. Okay. That's 568. 568, you know, average for this month. 
So I, I was going to add to that comment about the, the water. We are timing the, the um, contract five interconnect, which is paid through EFC to connect to the town of Wappingers ahead of Windless. So those two projects are going to be going on hopefully this summer. So you'll have the interconnect prior to Windless tank being replaced. So you have essentially the town of Wappinger is able to supply water if we need it in an emergency situation. And we also, my understanding, Matt, is we're, we're, we're also pursuing the, the um, uh, interconnect with the town of Poughkeepsie, which is the other side of the bridge. So we have tons of water available from the two municipalities if we need it in an emergency situation. But, but currently you don't even have the connection to one of them. And the other one, you don't have anything negotiated. Yes, we do. Well, which, I didn't know that. Which one do you have? Which, do we have a town of Wappinger negotiated agreement? Correct. No, but, but you don't have the piping in the ground. Right. But that's, that's, that's going on that's this spring. That's That'll start this spring, Kenny. That's, that's into review right now. I literally just got comments from yeah. Dutchess County. Um, minor comments that we need to do address and then we'll that will be going to bid in the in the early spring and will be under construction before windless even even is ordered and what time uh how much water are we talking about what is the negotiation what, what is it an amount is it as needed what how much water do you have to do? it's an emergency or maintenance water as needed so as much as we need. As much as you need, and then it's a 12 inch line. And it, it's it's subject to as much as they have to give, Ken. It's not well, that's, unlimited that's water. How much can they give? That's the key. Um, it was quite a bit. Yeah, they have a lot of excess capacity. They have a lot of excess capacity and they're a much higher pressure than us, so they can push it into our system as much as we can take it. So then if that's the case, why do you want to build water storage tanks elevated? Because I don't want to be paying the town of Wappingers for water? Unless I have to. Okay. And, and how, much, how much is the contract? And that? Yep. Negotiation, was there a, a set amount we could take per day for the town of Wappingers? We did not uh, put that in there, no. But we did, you know what, we did tell them how much we use and we told them that, um, you know, that this was for emergencies and this was also for um, maintenance. So uh, the two scenarios that we described to them are large amounts of water. Okay. Um, let's I do think I so here I think it's I but I think it's still important to finish negotiating that with Jay. He's ready to negotiate it. He wants it. He wants to have protection on his side too. I think there should be another town on the other side. And I think this is that I don't think that either town is your water system. I think that you have your own water system and you should have your own tank. And you should take care of the system like it's your only water. But, they, but that you should have backup like that's your water. Absolutely. That's agreed. Um, putting aside the pressure differential right now, so. Our main goal, my main goal, I don't know if you guys can concur or not, is to get the tie-in done, the green sand filter filtration plant done with well pre online, and then the tank, windless tank in that order. That was my thought process. I don't know. Um, could you say the could you say the order again? Because I well the, the, the tie-in's the easiest. So I put that as the first. Yep. And then I put the green sand filter second and the new tank to increase the pressure third. So I think you should take that, you know, like if you want the filter in there, you should get the funding in place for that. Yeah, the filter was number one. That was got to be number one. 
it's the easiest, but once you have the filter, now you have the ability to use the other uh, yeah. well and put that online. So we have the, that the, much volume. The so filtration it. plant is got sent got sent for approval, and we'll try for funding that yet. But we talked about we were hoping this next stimulus package would have extra money across the board. Yeah, you're gonna have to. You need to start working on that. You need to go. Um, yeah. There's, there's stuff you need to do. You need to call EFC. You need to get John to drive up to Albany with you one day. Uh, you could send, I think maybe Mary might be able to do that one day if we're nice to her. And you could, and you need to start talking to them like this is our whole package. We've already had a really good discussion with them in February. We told them that we want to make this plant able to be resilient and uh, withstand hazards and have belts and suspenders and they're ready for all that. Okay. So, but, but you still have to fight for the money and there's a pandemic going on and nobody wants to right now. So you, if you don't, if you fail at all that, you're gonna have to put it up for bond. And if you go for a big bond, you're gonna want as many water users you can get. And as many what? Water users. Okay. I did. I did confirm the filter plant. We had estimated one point three six million. So one point four would be reasonable. I think you should go with the higher number because by the time things get built and with the cost of materials right. doing what they're doing, well, you that number was that also going to be more was also based on a pole barn building. And I don't know that you want a pole barn in front of that building, the existing plant. So if you want something a little more on the building side, you should probably bump that number. I have 95,000 for a pole barn. We can't do a tank though. That's great. Because then you just have pressure more volumes and the pressure cut off the more volumes. Um, the biggest problem, of course, is we haven't met together. And I struggled big time. A lot is my fault because I definitely struggled with these meetings the way they all were before. You did tell me most of this. Um, only thing is, I had in my mind about Delaware that it was, it was gone. What I do remember that Delavern is uh, a temporary tank that we moved and it was originally taller too. It was bolted taller than what it is now. I don't remember the height though. You remember? Bolted taller than what it is? Yeah, I remember they put it in windless and it was smaller. They actually raised it up when they, they raised it up. So I was wondering if that yeah, just the opposite. I, I actually did talk to Aquastore about that tank. The mm -hmm. um and to see if we could raise Delavern versus replacing it, just add levels to it. Right. And I can't get can't get forty feet more. Okay. So I did. John, that was my first thought: was can I bring can I raise Delavern because that would be a empty it, add two more, three or three more levels on the bottom, and and call it a day, and then you have a taller tank. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. Can we look at the? Um, would it make sense to look at? moving Delavern to Hillside? I, I don't know that you're going to get the elevation you need. Yeah, not even close. They're all no. the same. They're the same elevation? At the, the overflow is the same on all of them. And, Del and Delavern, Hillside's way taller location. Because it's an elevation. Yeah. I mean, if we could find real estate that was higher we could move it to there but that would be i mean the the monastery up on the hill but that's right. gonna there's an expense there of de decommissioning yeah. taking it down connecting water lines i mean it, in in the overall scheme of things it might not be <laughs> it might be as much as putting up another tank so hillside yeah. avenue only has a Orange main, orange and one cloud. Right. So, and it doesn't have the mains going back down the hill to the bleed tree because they blew out years ago. So, right. the idea is 
for the spot. So not a, not a very good location for Delaware to be moved to. Not as, not as it is. So, Kenny, what is your biggest concern? The pressure increase? The filter. The no, filter. You've got, you got to get that filter. It's number one. You can have all the infrastructure you want, but if the water that you're putting in it is not of quality, you've got, you got trouble. I mean, the, the you know, if, if you look on the DOH form, which is uh, page 20 of 25, uh, you know, and you look back, going back, you know, you can see that the manganese has continued to right. increase on the, raw. Yes. On, on the raw, on the source water. That's and, uh, you know, it's it's been a trend. And uh, it's not trending going back down. It's trending going up. But it's filed, but the filtration plant has been filed for approval. Yeah, right. That but, see. yes, that's... And we might have to cheat out to a full bar, even though I don't want to either, but... Listen, I, I understand just for water quality purposes and to have the ability to use that other well, mm -hmm. um, you know, that's that would be my recommendation, especially now. These numbers, this 0 0.7 is getting close yes. to the raw of well three. I so, you know, once you get to that point and you start seeing the finished water on the manganese, mm -hmm. hit that 0 0.3, I immediately got to tell the health department, and that's a whole nother. When then Dan you're in, you're in a lot of. What did Dan Hill say? He, 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 if I remember correctly, he had mentioned once you start getting into that zero point nine range, is where he sees difficulties in distribution waters right. of other plants that have similar situations. And we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Yeah, right. I mean, you could see in the beginning of the month yeah. we were at zero six, and then as you continue to use the well, you know, it went up to the zero point seven range. Oh, oh no, we're at zero point seven. But the plan has always been to get the filtration plant up and running. Yeah, I mean that's it's just you know always I think it would be the best prospect because under that condition, at least you have another whatever hundred gallons. You know, you can you can use out of the other well. And as a matter of fact, even when when Lane comes here to do the work, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're always saying, "Why do you have such a small pump? Yeah, right. Why do you have such a small motor? You know, yeah. this thing can handle more." So while we're changing out the motors and all, you know, doing things with the wells, if that's the case, that comes use forward. that, and then you know, you have you're going to have even more water than we have. That's you know, so money come from Lane's and Lane's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, you know, just remember, Jay had a purpose for keeping that so small. Yes. Because, uh, you know, of the fear of... Um, Drawing the iron by any sense, where we will have a filtration plant. So that's going to come from Lane's yep. Yep. Um, reports, and John will go through it, he'll size the pump recorder. Yep, so, you know... We all uh, want to do the filtration. You know, you can, you can get more water. The water is here at this plant. And it, I mean, well, four is, is yes, sitting right over there. there. Well, five is, they all had a lot of water. You just have to get the treatment necessary to be able to I filter grew, out. I grew up and was on that well. When those wells were on mine. Those wells were horribly high. Uh, in they are, but they're still in the field. No, but our plan is. To be yes. Okay. Um, we're, our plan is to get, that's why we submitted it to, uh, to the NRC, get the approval and to get this done. Yeah. It's not a complicated filtration plant. There's only a couple things that are, every, that are tough to work with. Everything else is pretty much standard. we got to put a pole barn over it for now. We'll do that to get by money wise. If it's extra money, we'll do it in block. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes the sequence. You know, and, and now at that point, you have plenty of volume of water. You can use the well. Now it's it's just unusable. It's not a definite thing. The main thing is we don't have any money from him. But the green sand filter is a definite go either way anyway. Yes, we will all agree on that. Yes, you. That's okay. yes, you agree? I, uh, well, I actually just opened up the health department inspection report, and it's what? noted that we're, based on the inspection report, that because of the levels of mill number three, we're in violation So of the design approval. So, you know, at the very least, we should have a, a, a plan with a timetable in place in case the health department starts to apply more pressure in this area. Yes. I know 
but we, well, are, we, we are, we do have a Go ahead, Matt. I, I think, I mean, I think we have submitted a timetable. Okay. Right, John? Yeah. You've talked, yeah. So we're, I mean, we are working on that in earnest. I just think that if you're going to fix everything, and I think you should, I'm not saying that flippantly, that you need to add as many users as you can. Yeah, I just did a, I just did a run on some numbers. Obviously, 170, well, let me ask you this. Are they coming in and using our water, whether they put in the 375 or not, for the tank? Will they still be water customers of the village? They will. Yes. So yes, there. So there's a. Um, yes, you could look at them providing their own. Uh, they just wouldn't give us anything for the tank. Right. And then uh, you know, any time, and from now in the next five years, you might have to do a million dollars worth of restoration on the tank. Right. At which point they will they will be contributing at that point as opposed to. The developer putting in a 375, and then they even with the developer putting in a 375, once we do the borrowing, those 170 units will still be paying whatever is the annual capital cost for whatever we ultimately have to borrow, correct? Just like yes. everybody, yes. just like the other customers in the village. Okay. I don't know why the 375 changes. Why can't we just discuss with them that there's more of a need for filtration? We're going to take the 375 and put it to a filter. They're just two different separate discussions as well because they're not responsible for filtration. That's going on before they started. But yeah, it's going on. Exactly. Exactly. But, uh, the difference there is the money goes. You're going to have more volume because. They're two separate things. That's the main thing. The filtration plant's going in. Even if he walks away right now, the filtration plant's still going in. Right. I understand. So why not, if you don't have the money currently, why can't you take that money and use it for the filter? We don't have approval currently either. Well, I understand that, but you know it's going to happen. And when we, if we take the money, we're agreeing to the tank, and the tank has to be online before he's done developing, otherwise he doesn't have pressure. But there's there's other options, and, and we might not case, get the money. Station. We might not get the money from for a while. The main thing is to make sure you're comfortable with the the, the overall plan that we're talking about. And I agree, the filtration plant we've been working towards it. We should have pushed it more. Um, it's partially on me because I thought there would be a ton of stimulus money to help pay for it. Because I'm always worried about going broke, like you are in your own life. And I thought we could get all our infrastructure done and be a full system, not have so many problems. Um, I didn't think it took this long, but I knew we'd put it off, thinking that there'd be a huge infrastructure bill. It's probably not going to happen. If this is going on too long, and the state's going to eat up the money. So we got to make sure we can do this. So right now, I agree, we're definitely going to get the filtration plan at the very least approved this year and plans drawn up for bid. Hopefully, start it this summer, late summer. It's not going to be. We actually have plans together for the filter plant. Yeah, the rough plans. We just got to be. Yeah, but they're about 30% plans. We're not far from being beyond that. So. But that's a rel It's a relatively simple filtration plan. We're not putting a DNI's. DNI's no, it is a pretty straightforward plan. It's more about uh, the. We've actually done quite a. It's more about the piping right. and all the backflow and, and, you know, the backwashes and things like that. But uh, yeah, they're actually pretty complete plans. We took them a little further than 30%. I remember looking at the basic plans. They were pretty close, actually, to a full set. All you had to do was smoke everything. I'm not, it's not a desalination plant. It's not a deionized water plant that I get stuck building. Right, right. It's a pretty straightforward plant. But it is, it is it to the point where I could pull it off the shelf and I could have it um, pulled together and into health departments within 30 to 60 days easily. So... I mean, it's it's pretty far along. The biggest I was a little miffed that they took it as far as they did, personally. <laughs> we we did put a lot of uh, we put more work into it than we actually charged you so far. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So we are definitely want to do it. 
And part of my failings is Matt's been handling all the money part, and I have no clue what I'm doing that section. So this is going to be a big uh, I think Mary and Jessica need to help you figure out the projections going forward, and you need to do things like figure out how you would be able to do this as a total borrowing and then how you can knock that down over time. But you should prove out that you can live off of a total borrowing. Right. Yeah, I, I'd like to talk to Jess and see what because um, I'm looking at probably about let's turn 375 into 400,000. That's a little bit more than 4% if we divide that over 30 years and then divide that among the village customers. What kind of annual impact is that going to have? Yes, I, yes. Right. We've already moved forward with the filing for um, the approval for the location. It's funded. And once, once it's approved, then we can go for funding. Um, that's, I'm going to have to get the work about that. She's going to have to help me babysit me, unfortunately. This is already set up for next year. Construction. Oh, uh, that's what you're trying. I understand what you're saying. And this one has a time schedule. It does. I the other one on the filtration plan does not. Okay, that's okay. I understand what you're saying. Oh, I didn't even say anything. I think I handed it. Well, no, 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 no. Just like that. Yeah, we're just going to put it up to the back. Right? Delaware yeah. definitely has to be the back burner. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Whether we even do it at all. Yeah. Um, when you have a new tank. Well, well, the pumping use. system we had talked about for windless at one time too. That was something we talked about doing too. Mm -hmm. The pump the tank dry all the time so it would be dry that maybe easier to cycle the water. And it's something we had looked into before. So you pump that 20 years ago. So you pump that to waste? No, mm -hmm. we actually built the system, put it on pressure, and let that tank acts as, as the pump to let that empty out. This is, yeah, so this has been talked about before. I know, I remember now that we talked about putting pressure reducing valve, right. going downhill yep. towards you, yep. and that would take care of all the bleachery. That's oh, not below. Yeah, but you, now you have a double feed that's looped. Right. So now, you know, Where's before you had, no. you had, you had, you had one line going down there. Okay, you I know you're fine. You know, now it's looped coming from Franklin Dale, coming right. down Market. You know, it's it's a that's right. Loop. Loop. I forgot that. So I'll have to figure it out. Um, and even like I say, even in the first floor, you have, you have to look at all the low. You have to follow a contour. Yes. To try to go below. No, there's going to be a lot going. I don't know. You know, you know Brown Avenue as well as the yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Um, the main thing is to get things rolling as far as filtration plant. That's number one. And then number two, kind of, this is number three. If we don't have the filtration plant, we're I'm worried. I know what Matt's saying. I'm being 100% long term for the life of the village. We definitely need more customers. And we're not increasing our volume because free is going to be on wrong. But we have to do this first. And I understand pressure differential. And I would, you know, hopefully we only got to go up 15 pounds to get the full pressure. Maybe it doesn't do anything. If he drops, it's, yeah. It, it, the whole thing is tough because nothing's, everything out there, nothing's approved, nothing's exchange hands. He starts dropping these numbers, it might not be worth it. You know, it's, it's tough. But the main thing is we got that approved. If you're not sure about this, we can hold off this for another minute until January and pull it up with new eyes. But he's got a timetable. What is his timetable to do? Um, where is this? Please bring it 2021. Yeah, no. Yeah. On the timetable for the new tank. 
So we need the timetable on the tank is based on getting it out to bid fairly early mm -hmm. um, this spring and timing it so that the tank will be delivered about the time the what the uh, interconnect with Wappingers is done okay. so that I have the ability to pull it, provide water should something happen while I'm doing windless. Are you saying March time frame, John? Um, March, April. March. I mean, a, a water tank of that size is probably at least a six month. I can get a, an accurate, if we're going ahead, I'll start making calls and we'll time this going out to bid around the same time, you know, based on the lead time for the tank. I think I was told six to eight months. I'm using six because I'm always optimistic about stuff. But uh, Right, but if it goes out to bid in March, April, it then comes back to, I assume, the water board or the village board to do the approval of the bids. The bids would go through the village board because they are the, the yeah. The so the village board has the ability to authorize funds. So they wouldn't see them. There'd have to be a certain time frame for the bids to be out there. So would you anticipate them going before the village board at the May meeting or the June meeting? Um, I would anticipate them probably, and I would hope for the main meet. The May meeting would be ideal. Okay. Um, to get it to there that way like i said if it is a really long lead item i want it to be so my main concern right now john is the fact that this project has not been approved that we're doing this before. we have not received the money i don't know and when does this tank need for this project it's not for another year right the 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 project is moving forward at the planning board with the assumption uh, that they're going to be getting the water from the village through that tank. Mm -hmm. And um, with that, a lot of the um, studies that they haven't provided yet um, gets are simplified. They don't need to do the, the visual like impact is considerably less because they don't need to tank anymore. Yeah. They don't need their booster system. They're getting the water from us so they don't have to deal with that. But again, they're still moving forward. Um, I would guess at best there probably would be two, three months at most, or at least, because I know talking to um, Christian, the, our engineer that deals with the planning board, that they um, they haven't been really forthcoming with anything late recently. So, and they haven't been the on the agenda. We've so, been we've been promised money before, particularly the tree for doing stuff, and then when we did the job, the money never came. So. Right. So we want to make sure that they give us the check before they, <laughs> before we do anything exactly. But I still want the uh, filtration plant done, but we have to go for funding for that. It's easier to get funding for the tank or the filtration, or did you wrap them all together? If with the USDA, I did it all together. I put all everything in. So I went for both tanks and the water plant and a little bit of water line too. So <laughs> as much as I could. Pat, is your concern the, the check from the developer or all, the funding from the FC? Well, all of the above, because the developer is not, has not took a shovel to the ground. He's not giving us money. He could back out today and walk away. Um, and the fact that the filtration has to be online, too. Otherwise, pressure doesn't mean anything. Right. So, again, we're trying it from what John is saying, and we haven't talked about this internally at my house that much, obviously. Um, if these things are going hand in hand, if the village planning department, if the village planning board is giving their approval based on certain assumptions that they're getting water from us. Right. And their basis for getting water from us is supposed to be right now, at least, and unless we negotiate something else, their contribution. Can we link the village planning board's approval of moving forward on receipt of the check? Or does the check have to come after the water tank is built? How, John, is there anything in the negotiations that you have determined do, time? You would you would link the tank check being part of the conditional final approvals typically? Before, so that they, when, start. before they start. So before they can put a shovel on the ground, they have to give you the money okay. for the tank. Okay. So they can't start the project until we're paid. Right. Exactly. And we then, of course, once they start, they start the project, the tank being online becomes critical for them. I mean, we can supply a few of the customers at marginal, but when you start building three-story buildings, 
pressure gets to be a problem. So, If we were to approve this in order to go out to bid in March or April, at what point do we have to approve um, Casey's design contract? Well, I would need to start putting plans together so that we could put it out to bid. That that the, the my project my proposal is for the the plans to put the tank out to bid. So what you're saying is, in order to get it out to bid in March or in March or April, you have to start now. Yes, that's what I'm basically. Okay. I need to get it going now so that, that I can. That's the timetable we're working with in terms of making a decision. Well, the whole problem right now, Matt. Go ahead, Matt. Now you're just talking. No, nope, no, Matt. So the whole problem right now is without the filtration plant, we don't have the volume. So I might, we might make it tentative of getting the filtration plant approved before we put out the bid to tank because of one, one without the other, we're not going to get anywhere. I remember in the, um, the money's all together. You can go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead, sir. Hey, what's your like here? I was concerned that you have, you're going forward with a definite schedule for the, the tank and for the, the people uh, in, in doing the subdivision on Nelson Avenue. Mm -hmm. like, all of this could, could go right ahead and, and you could not make any progress. You're going you're to put the engineering for the tank and not the engineering for the filtration plant. So you could get to a position where you had the tank approved, the people thinking they're, they're all set for water in uh, on Nelson Avenue, mm -hmm. but no progress on the filtration. That's our fear. Correct. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yes. Correct. They can't until we approve it. And I think that's where we're at right now. But that's okay. Yeah. We'll let that okay. Consulting the planning board chairman. <laughs> <laughs> Did they, did she con did they did they concur well, with they what I said? Yet because they have not provided a plan for providing water. Right, right. That's my understanding is they haven't actually moved forward with the with their plans yet. Right. If you move forward too fast with one, without moving forward with the other ones, what happens? What happens if we move forward with this and we have this approved, but we don't have a filtration approved, and the people on the planning board end are thinking that we're all set. You're going to have multiple times to stop. Yeah. And, and you're and, going to have multiple opportunities to stop along the way. Why are we not even asking that? I, was, I thought we had to wait for approval. I didn't realize that. You want, you want the filtration plant fully designed? No, I'm, I'm saying that we're, we're going to move ahead to design. No, I just see this today. <laughs> You, you are you are moving ahead with the the filtration plant. It's yeah. in this, It's um, we've they've been communic. Uh, John has been communicating with the Department of Health. He's been talking to them about what we're going to do with right. the filtration. Right, but we're and, both, and applying for funding. But we're specifically going ahead with the engineering for the tanks, and and the the planning board is going to you know. Presume and, that we're going to get them water, but what would happen if we that this approved and then we did not get funding for the filtration? Then what happens? Nothing. We stop. Yeah, you no. I mean, you, if you don't get funding for anything, nothing will happen. That's how all that will work. You get funding for the tank. Yeah. No, you have the, to, you're going to have to get funding for everything. You have to have a plan for funding all of these capital improvements and follow through with it. And there will be times when you are taking a, a leap of faith that things will match up and go together. Yeah, but then why don't we spend the, the money for the engineering on the filtration plan? We have been. We have John's been. Doing, John's doing filtration. We approved that. We to approve him to do the filtration plan. We're here tonight to approve him doing the, the tank, which we're saying is second to the filtration plan. You already approved the engineering for the filtration plan. A plan. Okay. We, we took the filtration plant only far enough in that approval to get to the USDA funding, a 30% set of plans, because we're, we don't have money yet, so we're not going to spend your money until 
you know, built designing a plant that until we have money for. So I took the plans as far as they needed to be to go after the funding to show the EFC and USDA that we were serious about this filter plant. So we have a design that again, in 30 days to 60 days, I can have um, construction drawings for a filter plant fairly quickly. In fact, right now I could do it really quickly because I have a lot of availability. So, <laughs> so. John, I apologize. I didn't get to read your proposal before the meeting. Yeah. I'm looking at the summary of the included efforts, the survey mapping, the water tank replacement plan. That 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 really is the big leap in terms of investment. So I think the concern is how far do we invest in the design process before we have an understanding of where we're at with the filtration is kind of the feedback I'm getting um, on my end. So I, I, I mean, we go, will you start the survey mapping now? Are you talking about the plan set in the month of December? What happens if we don't hear until January or February? How much will we have invested of the 184.5 in the design plan and how much of it is um, available to sit on a shelf for a period of time and will still be good? I, I would only move the set of plans forward to like 30 percent at okay. most until you have funding in place, honestly, because there's no point going further until the money's ready. Just like the water filter plant, I would take them to 30 percent and put them on the shelf. So we'd be talking about a thirty somewhere around maybe a, a thirty thousand dollar investment because we do the survey and then about thirty percent of the right. plan phase. Right, and then we'd have to do the visual for the planning board. Um, right. Again, we probably wouldn't do the planning board presentation until we know with funding's in place. Okay, so, so essentially, but, just to be clear for the board, and correct me if I'm misunderstanding, mm -hmm. if we were to indicate our approval today to move forward with the design plan, we're talking about a 30,000, give or take a $30,000 commitment until we knew where we were at with filtration. Yes, that would be about right, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. all right, are you agreeing? I'd like to point out too, I mean, I didn't really make an issue of this, but this, this proposal I put together, normally engineering proposals are based on 10% for construction and 10% for the engineering. But because this particular project is all tank mm -hmm. and it's a big, the tank is the investment. I've only used 5% and 4% for construction. Okay. So, I mean, I, I've cut my fee by half and then some because, again, it's a tank. I'm not going to charge you for, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, help the village out as best as possible. I had to argue with Raj about that, but he agreed with me in the end. So. <laughs> Thank you, John. Um, Mary? Have yes. You, have you gone over our funding at all? Um, I apologize. I've looked at the budget, but I really kind of need, sorry, Matt, I need the laptop to be able to put it together. I was able to see that we've got a very good bond rating um, uh, right now, at least tied to the village. The last serial bond that was done was rated at AA. The village in general has an underlying bond rating of A+. Plus. So from that perspective, it's good. But, you know, I really need an Excel spreadsheet to be able to put together what do we pay for operation? How much are we paying for bond wise and things like that? So um, as soon as I get the laptop, I will start putting it all together for everybody to review. Um, I'd also like to put the capital, the ongoing capital plan, like we were talking about on a spreadsheet of aging and funding and at least costs as of, we'll call it 2021 with working with John with kind of an aging forward plan. If we keep flipping things forward to the next year, you know, in terms of what escalated costs would be. Because at this point, and that was my concern with, you know, having to replace, if we were talking about replacing the Delaver tank is we're not really talking 1.84 million, we're talking about 1.84 times two. And then if we're doing replacement of some pipes in the ground. So I think Matt is absolutely correct. We need to look at the full picture. We need yeah. to make a full plan with estimates even if they're cocktail napkin estimates right now, of what the cost would be, what that means on a per village customer um, annual cost, 
how it's affected by these 170 new customers that we're going to get, and what are our priorities moving forward. So do you need a new laptop or Matt didn't get one? Matt's gotten okay. it over to, is it Craig? Okay. No, I'm, I, I actually am going, as soon as I get done with this wake, I'm going to go to the village hall tonight. I've got another meeting over there. And then I'm going to leave the laptop for Craig to work on. Thank you. And it's going to be cleaned for you. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah, because I have no issue, no issue authorizing you for a new one either. So whatever you want is fine. Right? No, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sorry it's holding Mary up, but it's there's it, there's two there's two laptops available okay. after I'm gone. So yeah, because if we can, Matt has indicated that we can probably load the the general ledger on there from the water budget, which will get a lot of the base work done. So then it's really just you know adding the capital plan pieces and seeing where it takes us. Okay, uh, Matt, can you put your memory hat on for a minute? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not as good as it used to be. Surplus this year, because I was thinking about starting the engineering for the, in the design. Because John's not doing much anyway right now for the filtration plan. <laughs> He's sitting on his. I'm sitting on my hands. I'm I'm I've got nothing going on. So so. Might be the idea. We're going to do it no matter what. So I'm not a, I'm not above spending the money right now. It helps you and it helps us. But I don't remember what we have left because I don't usually see those numbers. For for what what was the question? I was going to spend probably what do you think, John? 40, 50, 40 more thousand to design the filtration plan. Hundred? Did you say one hundred and forty? I'm sorry. Did I miss? No, 40, <laughs> no, 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 no. We we John John John. What, I'm, yes. I'm We've listening. already approved. Have not have we not already approved the design of the filtration plant? The filtration we, plant. We did. I just don't know if we took it to to thirty percent or if we took it all the way. But I have to pull that up. I'll, let, let me get back to you guys. I'll email you guys I, tomorrow. I got. I think we're it. already. Yeah, I think we're done on that, Pat. And if and we, if you're we, not, we, have, you we had a proposal together, it. but Nancy had put it together, and I got to look and see what specifically what it was. I know yeah. we took it to thirty percent and stuff. I think that. But I don't know yeah. that we've actually. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. I think we have the approval in place, but you should look at that and confirm yeah, that. Me, but I, me, I'm, I'll confirm it and let everybody know. But um, if, like I said, it, it's 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 at least it's thirty percent and then some. Yeah. So if it's not, I think we approved it too. I never remember specifying thirty percent. Um, and it, it might be that we just took it far enough. It's like the first piece was we do this, but again, I have to look at the proposal for that. Uh, and I had the hang on a minute. Let's see if we were good and put our project contracts in the right place. Oh, wait, we did. We did. <laughs> Gotta love Nancy. Nancy's so thorough. Uh, Scope of services. So we, you approved an evaluation and uh, engineering evaluation report. So that's what was approved. And that was, wait, maybe this isn't the right one. This is only 10,000. And I know I did more than that in work. So what is the date? Yeah, let me do a little more searching. This might be just the initial evaluation. Okay. But boy, if I gave you an awful lot for ten thousand, if that's all we did, <laughs> you're you're welcome. Our intent is uh, is uh, allow you to do this over the winter while you're sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, I, I mean, I got to do something with my hands. I can't just keep. I, I started to to keep my sanity. I started doing. Uh, I started actually working in my ceramic studio again. So if anybody needs a ceramic Christmas tree, let me know. I have a few extra. So, John, when these reports are done, um, yes, the soft copies are provided to the village. Yes, you will have and a set of plans. Matt, where are they? Where's the where are the soft copies stored, and do we have access to them? Uh, we don't have soft copies in the village hall. 
unless I printed them out, and I probably did. So they're, but, but um, it's mainly digital copies is what we have. What is the access? I mean, I'm so used to just immediately having access to any soft copy I need. Um, what is our, what is the village water board's ability to have access to the material related to these reports and village, the water board budgets and things like that, that the village has on their server or wherever everything is stored at village hall. So if, if Pat wanted to refresh um, his mind and look at a contract that he doesn't have a paper copy of, does he have any ability to get into your server and read John's contract? No, oh, I go see Marie. There's Marie. You go see Marie? She is 100% organized all the time. Well, I, I don't doubt that for one minute, but if Marie has had her tied up with the customer, the, the reason I'm asking is, is because is there, if you're, if you're thinking about spending money, does it make sense to give the board members some type of small, low-grade tablet and could we set up an account or something somewhere so that we could all just have access to the material to um, prep and read before a meeting? She's talking about Google Drive. What's she talking about? Google Drive, so we could all sign in to something. We could specific, but do that if you guys Marie want. doesn't do that. He doesn't usually do that. No, nah, that's a little. Um, actually, honestly, that was one of the, the problems I'm talking about. Most of the stuff I did with Matt. Everything else, I went in person and talked to Marie and Heather and found everything I needed. Mm -hmm. I had a problem. So, I mean, I'm gonna, guys, I I am going to. Uh, go unless there's something else um more current that you want to talk about with me or if you need me for a vote um the vote is just going to be the approval of the 30 percent on the tank uh, we can't vote on the engineering costs for the filtration plant because i think we already approved it we're just giving them permission to continue and finalize it yeah and and the tank is that i mean the uh Excuse me, the filtration plant, John, you're saying is that 30 or 40 percent anyway, right? Yes. So, okay, we can move yeah. it forward. I, I'm the only thing I'm seeing here in the water plant is the the 10,000 for the evaluation. I'm not seeing. I haven't found it yet, but that doesn't mean. Um, we. Just I thought we did it here. at the village board level, right? In uh, April of 2018 this year this year mm, yeah i thought we film? did some more for the the filtration we did the usda application okay i know that we did the filter plant the filter plant was a I, the only one i've found so far and again nancy's but, already gone for the day i can talk to her about it because she would be more familiar with where it is <laughs> Um, but I think Pat and and I think the water board should feel comfortable because you're already done with it. Right. Okay, so I think that's not an issue right now. We do have an issue paying for it. And hopefully we'll stand up and do the right thing with KC, but that's not an issue because John has already finished it. What you wanted to make us do is already done. Okay, I wanted to, um, I don't have a problem if we're going to approve the tank thing just because it, cause it's an application type of engineering, only 30%. I wanted to make sure that he had the ability to finalize the drawing on the filtration so if it, when it does get approval and they have okay. those projects ready to go, we can say this is ready to go now. Well, I think we could vote on that now. You could vote on you know, approving that it go all the way to final mm -hmm. tonight. That gives us uh, two votes. I just don't have to. Yeah, you just. Do you want to, you don't know how to word the motion? I don't know how to put a number. Is that on. what you're saying? I, uh, I don't have to put a. Oh, yeah. Doesn't the, the contract have a, a final price on it already? 
I haven't found one with the final price on it already. I, I found the initial, basically we did an initial study. Uh, I haven't found where we've done the complete design because it was, we took it to a certain, we might've only taken it to the original study because we knew the funding wasn't in place. Okay. We didn't want to hit you with the entire thing. We only hit you with like 10,000 for the study, which. So that would have been what was presented to the village board back in April. I believe that, but it was April of 2018, not okay. even 19. Okay. That's what I'm finding on my server. I've been looking, unfortunately, I have been a little, I can't find the actual, we just merged servers and it's a mess. <laughs> so, but no, nothing else would have been submitted to the board? I, I'm just curious. I, I don't believe so. I don't believe we took it beyond the initial like 30% um, engineering evaluation where we put a set of plans together. Okay. Um, but so again, there not be we, anything we, in place yet that tells us what the whole number is. Right. I don't believe there is. Okay, what we'll do is we'll put a motion on the vote, we'll vote it, and we'll do tentatively on the numbers, and then we'll e we'll email out the numbers to each other. I've already emailed, but we'll all respond to her with the email nay or yay. Okay. Yes, I, I will, if I don't have that, I will put it together for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. That'll, that'll push that project forward too. Okay. Excellent. The tank is just a number. It's not going forward until everything's in line. Okay. Right. So once we have the, yes. So, okay. That's fine. Okay. Are you, com you, uh, Pete, you comfortable doing it that way? Yeah. No, no, no. I want to make sure we're going to probably do it this way. I just want to make sure we're, all, we're going to do it all online. The filtration system, the same. Yes, because the filtration system is going to be approved and ready for their push. It's just the money part. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have to know what it is. It's approved. Right. But either way, I think we already approved it. I just don't remember. We, we didn't allocate the money probably. All I remember is that John and Kenny, are you guys more comfortable doing it this way? We'll get the thing approved. Uh, the engineering done when it gets approval, we'll be ready. Once we get the money, that'll be ready to get first. Uh, so, the, the filtration. Like one. Okay. I just, I just want to make sure you're comfortable. Let's put the, the pressure part of the tank aside for the moment. Because even if the tank goes in and this doesn't go, we drop the tank. Mm -hmm. And we still have options. And the main thing yeah, long term yeah. is for living here, you want options and you want everything done once, and you never want to do it again the rest of your lifetime. That's the goal. Okay. Mary, do you got anything else to put in? Or are you okay? Uh yep. Okay. Um, I'm gonna struggle with the motion, but I'll try it. So the first motion is we're gonna tentatively approve. Financing the engineering for the filtration plant. We're going to email, email each other the final number and we'll, we'll shoot them back to Marie when we get it and we'll take it that way or, or shoot it down. Okay. Did we say that we're going to make a motion to approve the final, the design work to be done by KC Engineering through the final design to put out to bed? I need a second. And then Pat, I would just say that we're going it, it and then we're gonna and and then th leave this part of the motion, but you're gonna get the the numbers from uh John and you're gonna we'll amend that motion later. Okay. okay. Is that okay? That's fine. You're better at writing these than I ever will be. Can I have a second for that one? Second. All those in favor? I'll make a I'll make a motion. Okay. Aye. 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 That passed. The other motion is just the thirty percent of the engineering for the new tank to be funded. Oh, but uh, John, I mean Pat, can we back that up a little bit? Yeah. It's maybe John, you could clarify. It's not thirty percent of the contract. It's thirty percent of through the design portion, just the summary plan. Right. 
what I'll do, maybe what I can do is I will revise this proposal for Wednesday's mm -hmm. night meeting. That'll say, I'll break out the 30% concept plan for the tank mm -hmm. as a separate item. That way we can say authorized to 30% design and it'll be in the contract, but you'll be approving the whole thing subject to the water being, the tank being funded for the final design. So I'll take that, that, so there'll be the, the survey, the 30% of the con, the, the site plan or the tank tower plans or the tank plans. And then probably we should, should we do seeker at this point as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do those three tasks and then it'll be, I'll separate out the final design as okay. a separate item. Okay, great. On that. And, um, I'll figure out 30% of those those um, First three. seeker tasks, the survey task, well, survey will be 100%, seeker 100, okay. and then 30% of the design task mm -hmm. for the amount. So I would it? make a motion that we do, we approve for KC to do preliminary design up to 30% of the design task, seeker, and anything else? The survey. Then the survey. So that's my motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That passed. Aye. Okay, Aye. guys, I'm going to step out. I'm sorry. Right, thank you, Matt. Thank so you. I will get okay, both take of these together for Wednesday's meeting then for present presentation to the village board? Yes. Okay. I will do that. And that should just be, that should just be um, put up by Kevin's, Kevin's there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Kevin, you should put that up as part of the regular agenda as something from the water board that we already approved. Uh, okay. Thank you, Matt. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Thank yeah. you, Matt, you too. Excellent, thank you. Okay, John, you got something to do now. I do. Did we want to talk about the water service for, I mean, it is, I'm sorry, it is going on six. Yeah. So the water service for what is it? 2552 West main street where they want to do a separate, they want to separate. My, my contention is that they should have one line coming in a four inch line coming in that does water and okay. domestic fire and domestic, but they're saying that it's a different code. What I'd said to them, um, was that it had to be approved by the authority in charge and that's you guys. So they want to just leave the existing domestic and do a, and I'm going to make them do a four inch line per Kenny's request uh, for the water service. Oh, oh this is down on the uh, Yeah, this is the state home where they're, they're trying to tell me that the fire, the sprinkler is, I forget, low rise residential versus single family duplex. And there's a different standard for those two things, a single, and, and it's whether or not they need to have a single line coming in that does both water and domestic so that if that gate valve is ever closed at the at the curb stop, that you know it. Because otherwise you, you can shut that gate valve and they won't have sprinklers and nobody will ever know. Right. So, but it is, unfortunately, your, your, your um, details, as Christian was showing me, actually show separate fire and water. So I'm thinking we need to update them to be current with NFP with NFPA standards. I didn't know they changed, so we're gonna have to then. Um, yeah, they've been they've been tweaking them for a while. So I mean it, it, the, the point is that you don't want the building to be occupied when the when there's no water to the sprinklers. And so, what does it apply to single family dwelling or duplex? Well in this particular case they're trying to say that the single family duplex and um, like a townhouse sprinkler needs to have a single line single valve that um, there's no domestic water when the fire is off. This low rise one has an exception, but it has to then be continuously monitored by somebody, which hopefully the state's going to do that. So, um, and then when you get into the commercial, it's a, it's a different set of sprinkler regulations. But uh, we're talking specifically that, but I'll just go through the, our, I'll look at our details and I'll see which ones need to be updated and I'll just let you guys know next month, which Thank one you. should be tweaked. 
All right, just so that we're current with with current NFPA regulations. So they, keep, they, they change them every couple of years, so you have to buy the book, you know. <laughs> Based on um, previous approvals, right now I'd like to set prior to form. No, as far as well, goes by whatever codes we have. Well. Yes and no, um, based on you know whatever they're considering the actual home itself. Now they just designed one state right here on Delaware Avenue right. that has a separate domestic line, and actually has a separate fire line from that. There's two fire lines and a domestic. All right, I'm confused again. So anyway, I like it separate myself. Um, I. I certainly see John's point, but he's going to close it up. I understand the point. It there's, there's not a fire line in that. It just goes by whatever the code is. It's a lot easier for them to just uh, put in a new fire line off of South Avenue mm -hmm. than it is obviously dig up Car Line Drive, which is just paid. Well, okay. yeah, you know, it's definitely not it's an well, issue to come off of South Avenue. Right, it's right, just, right in front when, of your house. you know, when you put a, a service line off of the fire right now you have to determine what you're going to do with the old line right you know, yeah, in the, yeah in this situation they would they would need to abandon the old one but leaving it as is then they can leave the old one in place and it becomes less of an issue so i do agree with kenny on that i just wanted to run it by you guys before i moved ahead so what are we doing exactly at the end let's just draw a picture well, basically, um, you know, they, they have the foul right. here, right? Here's the water main. It's going to yeah. be a wet tank. So there's already a single well. Right. So they want to come inside, yeah. okay? And then they want to put, you know, their own bathing right. system inside with a backflow. Mm -hmm. okay. A double check valve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And then what John is saying is, is that should you guys consider them having a domestic line off the fire line. There's already a domestic line, so this is South I Avenue. I see what he wants, yeah. You know, and this is a uh, car line. Yeah. You know, right. and they currently have um, a service line coming off a of car line with their own curb stop and separate. Deleting that. Well, okay. I don't like it because this is a transit line. Now you're going to have a contractor digging over Mm -hmm. Your transit exactly. line to shut the old corporation yeah. off. When you do that, now you have an old corporation in the ground. Not that you wouldn't have one here because you need a, a test cock to pressure test this and chlorinate it prior to charging it. Okay. Um, but, you know, it creates an issue. If somebody goes to turn that thing and it, it, this corporation mm -hmm. isn't appropriately screwed into right. transit. You now you're asking for trouble, right? But that's the that's the new code right there. Um. Well, there's there's yes. two different yes. codes. Right. It depended on what the use was, and they're trying to say it's the one, not the other. Right. And it's 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 a single family home. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last time I checked. So. I personally, don't like a domestic line off a fire line. But whatever. Yeah. No, I mean, we'll just, in the situation, they already have a service, a domestic service into the house. We'll just leave that in place. And, uh, I mean, he's the one signing the plans, not not me. So, okay. right. So it's it's more of a, they're trying to say that it's one version of the, uh, the NFPA 13 for sprinklers versus, you know, the other. So single family versus um, low rise residential. So. Okay, I mean, it's 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 an interpretation then, it, and it's their interpretation, but they're the one sealing the drawing. Right. I mean, again, if that's the way they want to interpret it, and again, it's the state, so that's the way they're doing it. I just, you know, like I said, my personal preference is what was Kenny was explaining is that if you don't have sprinklers, you shouldn't be able to occupy the building. So if it's a sprinkler building, okay. But like I said, NFPA changes the, the regs every once in a while. And they added a clause recently that got the low rise residential. As long as it's got continuous monitoring, they don't they don't have to have 
the combined water fire on one service line coming in. All right. So, what do you we need approval for that kind or? Well, I just I, just you guys in agreement would be fine, and I will I will approve it. I just sat on it till today. I am just contingent upon John's approval of the plans. The health department and the black flow approval. Yeah, the only thing I'm looking at is the actual line, the four inch line coming into the building. Okay. Uh, I don't review the RFP, um, the or excuse me, the um, RPZ unit at all. Right. So with John's approval of whatever the design plan is in regards to what we're looking for for tapping saddles, valves, outlets on the flanges, the corporations, the pressure testing, the chlorinations, John will approve that. Okay. And I've already discussed with John the types of saddles, valves, and so on and so forth that we're interested in, plus who owns this and what portion, if the village owns it, up to what? I'll put a curb box in. Yeah, yeah, it would be up to the, the up so, to the curb boxes, the villages, and then beyond the curb box. Right. So under this condition, it's not really a curved box, it's a valve. Right. And based on it being a wet tap, the valve is right next to the main. Yeah. So does that mean we would own the saddle, the flange for, that goes from the outlet of the tapping saddle, the flange portion of the valve, and then anything on the back side of the valve? including the connection into it would be the home. Is that the case? Is that what our responsibility would be? Is, is my question. You know, it's, it's a, it is, but it's just the location of it. As per, right, as in the sidewalk, it's not on the back side of the side. You know, so. There still so, be anything from the outlet plan. Correct. Yes. Right. So, so under that condition would be consistent, but just keeping in mind, this serves no purpose to the village whatsoever. No. Sir. So, and you receive no monies. If I'm looking for money, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to every place that has a fire line and figure out how you can charge that. No, seriously, know yeah. you know, just to have the it's water, the it's not like a, maybe not like, like it is a base charge for, for water and because you're actually it. using it. Just some kind of annual money to say, we're supplying this water to you in case there's a fire. And because of that, you have to, you know, and even if it's just to maintain this valve, you said, what? we need money to maintain have you ever heard any other municipalities doing that? I really, uh, actually, different municipalities, I remember checking in with the town, but I really don't remember what the answer is. But it's there. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's there, yeah. you know, and, um, you know, why not have the ability to, to charge something that has no purpose for you? Next time you have those class where you're all together, you can ask them. <laughs> <laughs> we would just have to set it as part of the rate schedule because the water authority has done it differently before where they have charged based on the connection size, even though, and we call it, we called it a sprinkler account or whatever, no water went through it because they never had any need of it, but we established it as the base charge. Yeah. Subsequently, they changed that, but it just really has to be included and approved as part of your annual schedule. There you go. That's perfect because we'll, we'll be happy to do the study on who's out there to do these. You know, Brian is supposed to be, you know, doing something with fire inspection. Right. So, you know, we can work with Brian and, you know, this is, that's cash. Yeah, because we never know how much we can buy. Yeah, and, you know, especially, yeah, responsible for it. you know, plus <laughs> some of these fire lines on the backflow preventer have a bypass. Yes. For low flow meter, we're not charging for that. There is actually a meter. We're not reading these meters, but it's water. You know, we don't know when these people are using this, doing their testing, and so on and so forth. So, just something for consideration. But there's your answer, Pat. 
Yeah, I didn't know that. Okay. What am I missing? That was a rough meeting. Uh, Mary, we have to meet together one of these days and go over the financing part after you get your laptop. Yep. And uh, yes, and um, I'll talk to Jess and see what we can put together. Just a reminder in terms of my physically meeting anyone, I've got to make sure I'm clear. And then we'll be leaving somewhere around the first of the year to head south for a few months. Um, get this set up. Yeah, I would actually, I, one thing I am going to ask before, you know, we break today, I would like to get the board's approval to talk to the village's IT person. I would like to just at least pursue what are, what, what are the storage, what do they do for storing electronic documents? What is our access to them? Um, I, I think we'd be able to be a little bit, um, flow a little bit easier if, we were able during a meeting and even before the meeting to prepare to have access to the electronic documents, kind of refresh our memory, just even some of the discussions from today, whether um, Casey had submitted final design plans or anything like that, understanding how they're stored and what is our ability to access any of these things. Um, and again, right now, just a discussion to see how it's done, what the access capabilities are, and then maybe come back to the board and talk about is this something the board is interested in, in terms of being able to have access to the electronic information, even if it's just at a board meeting where it's, you know, up on a screen somewhere as these questions come up? Definitely. Okay. Uh, Mary, I, uh, I actually have to deal with Craig, the IT guy, uh, for the majority of the village anyway, pretty soon. Okay. And uh, I'll definitely ask him about some sort of secure, like Google Drive or something like that, which is seems like what you're talking about. That would uh, and I know that there is not one. I mean, uh, there may be people with personal Google Drives, but I know that there's not one uh, for like somebody else to sign into. Right. Uh, or even a Dropbox somewhere Dropbox. for a particular meeting. Yeah. If you need in the interim, I can set up a SharePoint with everything that I'm producing um, for the water board. Yeah. And then everybody would have access to it whenever they need to. Well, that would be, yeah. Not as, perfect. as far as uh, in the past or trying to upload any documents, uh, I'm sure um, there's security or whatever else that anybody can come up with any other excuse not to do that. Um, and I think that's what it's been in the past, uh, especially when it comes to finances. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. I'll ask him if he has anything or if he has the capability or maybe even it's just us that has, you know, that has to do it. Well, well, that's just it. It, sh it shouldn't be the world. The world should not have access. And I, don't, I know Dropboxes have some issues in terms of security. Um, but even if at the very least during a meeting, we had the capability of sitting at the table and bringing it up on the screen where one person um, has access, like a staff person would have access that we could then share with the board being able to present the financials if there is a question in terms of how much did we spend where are we at with this yeah. portion of the budget in terms of expenditures and things like that yeah numbers like that are uh, as pat mentioned earlier you just ask marie and eventually you'll get it um <laughs> but i have no issue yeah, that's, yeah, so that's not an issue it might be time to modernize a little bit anyway well, yeah. it, it, Marie does an amazing job. I'm not questioning her job at all, but she's got a lot to do. And if like all three of us had to go, three or four of us had to go separately and ask her the same question, this would kind of help streamline it a little bit, at least for me. And now that, and like I says, I've been relying way too much on that. And so there's a lot of holes right now. So definitely go ahead. Okay. I, just like when he's talking about going for funding with the state, he's handled all that. I've handled zero of the meetings. So this is something I'm going to need help with. Thanks. That was a lot. Now I don't know where I am. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh, it's like <laughs> we got to sit together. That was like number nine. I'm looking. We didn't even talk. Oh, I get it. I got it. We have to do it, no matter what. Um, Max. Not not here anymore. The OEM meeting you want to do anymore? Are you comfortable not doing it? I think we agreed that we weren't going to do that okay. last meeting, but that's entirely up to you. 
Right, because I'm not here anyway, so it's going to be more up to you guys. But you can handle. You know, no, I mean we're okay. I mean, if there's something you want to talk about, that's definitely not a problem. We're happy to have it. Okay. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, we'll just go with a regular meeting. You know, I think that part of the difficulty is, is that if most of the board members of the water are not, then you know what? There's no sense. Yeah. Then you run into the situation where Matt has all the information. I ask you something. You go, uh, you know, no, Matt, we don't want that. Well. He can just come over and get you for each shot. Okay, um, John, did you write down the upcoming meeting for next month? I have. Um, I'm struggling because I don't have the village board meetings as my base right now. So, is the next village board meeting on the sixth or on the thirteenth of January? Thirteenth. So I'm, I'm assuming the water board meeting will be on the eleventh, January eleventh. Right. It would be on the eleventh if it's actually the thirteenth. Then yes, you're yeah. correct. Second Wednesday and then the Monday before the second Wednesday. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the holiday messed with it at all. <laughs> okay. Mary, do you have anything else to add? Um, and I, I, I've been looking through my email. I didn't even get a notification for the meeting until this afternoon. So I don't have an agenda. I was going back through my emails from Marie and I saw that after we concluded our meeting last month, there was something about Frank Rettel requesting a hookup to water service on route nine. I don't believe it was discussed at last month's meeting because I don't think we got the notice until later. So are we supposed to be addressing this today? Um, um, really can't on eleven ten. Yeah, really, we really can't address it until more things are in line, right? It was it was wanting to be, but we have nothing there right now. Okay. I just need someone getting. Do you want me to give him a call? I mean, what? Where are we at? It's so, something that Matt what? had. It, Matt had doing. Yes, yeah, so you give a call. Yeah, get a chance. Okay, that we received the request. Yeah. And what are we looking for in terms of more information? I don't know what they need as far as pressure and uh, location of the property, and we can. We plan on putting and what are you planning on putting there? How, what kind of how much water are you going to need? To park? Okay. All right, I'll give them a call. I don't know if we have we have the ability to do it at this moment. You don't have the water. And that's fine, but we have to at least acknowledge his request. I think. <laughs> okay. 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 That's, it. That's all I've got. This is when I usually get home from work at four, so you just any day but Tuesday is fine. Okay. I'm gonna drop what I'm doing for. All right. Okay. Thanks. Um, that's it. Yeah. For now. <laughs> don't, don't be afraid of asking others. It's still a lot because, like I said, we're doing that way too much of it. Now we hey, right now, it's easier for me until I get that computer. There's not a whole lot I can do. I thought you would have had it by now. Sorry about that. That's okay. If you don't have it by next week, we'll tell Craig to get you a brand new one then. Okay. All right. And in the meantime, I'll talk to Jess and see where I can get a leg up on some of that stuff. Um, John, did I miss anything else? No, I think we covered everything that I can remember. Anything else, Mr. Mayor? We're good. I think we've we've beat it to death tonight. So. Yeah, we did. We've <laughs> out there, and now we're all comfortable, and my mind's working good. Right. And if I hurry home, maybe I can catch the game. Is, are the Bills on tonight? Do I get to watch my Bills? No, it's an early game. They're Monday night tonight. Yeah, early Actually, game. It's four oh, did I miss it? No. <laughs> so with Pete, you have anything else? I'm good. 
Okay. You want Did you at least, can you everybody at least appreciate my Christmas tie it's that I wore just for you guys? Not as soon as I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because now I can. Just a, a couple quick things. Yeah, go ahead. You know, about this prospect street thing, you know, they've been mulling this over for the longest period of time. Yes. We never got or heard from the guy on the point. So at this point, we have to take it as you're on your own. If anything happens on that side of the curve, stop. Boom, we're shutting it off. I agree with that. So, Correct. I'll write like a note here. It might be tomorrow. Follow up next well, meeting. Mayor's still involved. No, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. Do I want to do it for everybody else? I, you know, it's always a mistake going on there. It's, I, it's always difficult. So, what I'm going to do yeah. is I'm going to we're going to do a follow up next meeting. I'm going to talk to Marie this week. And after the next meeting or before next meeting, meeting, we're going to send a letter out and say we do not have the ability to work on because due to lack of easements, we tried to get them, can't get them. We do not have the ability to work on this line. If this line has problems, we cannot fix it. Yes, by perfect. The perfect. We'll word it that way with the lawyer. Yep. We'll send it out. Perfect. We can't we'll, because it's not for lack of wanting to try. We can't. That's a difference. You made an attempt, and if you have one person, this is why I said so yes. many different times. But we do not do anything. Do not approve we, anything until you get the permission from the people and draw up the easement. We and do. Then you come up with we did our due diligence. Yes. We can't do it. We can't do it. Yes. Period. Yes. It's not like I know. I understand the customer's problem. I'd be pissed off as hell knowing that. But, we can't do it. Right. We've been doing what normally you're yeah, this is you or me, our house. We'd be doing we the homeowner would be yes. We've been because yeah. for whatever reason it was a mistake that should be never been allowed to happen, like so many. I agree. Okay, that's the way we're gonna go. So follow up next meeting and then we're gonna send out the letter. I'll talk to Marie beforehand because yep. I want to have all the, the ducks in a row saying we tried to get it. I'm not going to specifically say who we didn't get the yes from, yes. but I'm going to say we didn't have all the easements. We, we didn't get them. We tried to get them. We can't do anything, and this is what's going to have to be done. We, we don't have a choice. Yes. Okay. But we'll go over that, Marie, and then we'll follow up next meeting. We'll write it up. Yep. As far as uh, 7C is concerned, Delaburn Avenue, we went over that. That's yes. been squared away, taken care of. Uh, as far as 7D is concerned, they actually did put they did. an overflow um, sensor yeah. in the overflow. Okay. I went there and physically um, tripped it. Uh, well, Thank they, they attempted to, but it just didn't work. Okay. So they do have it. I have the receipt for it. I gave Marie the receipt. Um, they paid it. I physically saw it, but for whatever reason, it's not working. So. They went back to the drawing board, spoke to the contractor, and I haven't heard anything. And it's only been, you know, since last week. So oh, we'll okay. give them a little bit of time. We'll keep this on this agenda. If we don't hear from them by next month, then we'll revisit and say, hey, you know, where are we at? That's it. That's all. Okay. okay. I need a mo I need a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Second. Second. All those in favor, aye. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Good night, everyone. Bye, everybody. Mary, don't be afraid to call oh, me. All right, Pat. Thank you. Thank you.